One of my earliest predictions for the Uneducated Investor podcast had to be the rise of an adult actress or actual adult entertainer that is going to be on their way to becoming a billionaire. The massive reach that you get having an online personality nowadays is so ridiculous that you can reach so many people and have them subscribe to so many things that someone who goes on basically one of the most rawest areas where you can grab that prime social media personal brand influence real estate um this prime area of course i'm talking about the adult industry one of these females is going to go on there be a business savage make a name for herself in this area and then really monetize it through very adult entertainer type things such as you know premium snapchats only fans and of course tapes you know those those kind of exclusive offers but never would i have ever suggested or ever 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 think that there would be a day where someone's gonna go and sell their literal bath water sell it to thirsty gamer boys as they put it and then make sell it for thirty dollars a thirty dollars a i don't even know what you call it a tub a flask an ounce of about I, I think when it's gamer girl bathwater like the measurement units are something different like i don't know if you literally call it you know volume or ounces anymore i think literally it transcends units and you're now talking about just you know metrics of gamer guy thirst and basically this girl's selling her bathwater that she bathes in for three dollars each and she literally sold out Today, I want to talk about this girl and what this means for the future when it comes to this new influencer, wacky influencer land that we have and how we as investors can look at this little social experience that the society is going through. Hi, this is your boy, Fly Still We Baby, and you are listening to the Uneducated Investor Podcast. Feel free to leave a like or comment or subscribe on YouTube. Of course, if you're listening to the podcast version, um, leave yourself a comment, a five-star review on iTunes. That is how we grow, my friends. But today, I just want to go ahead and read to you what these personal brand influencers are doing, what they're going, and how they're taking this to the next level. If you don't know who I'm talking about, right now I'm talking about this lovely lady named Belle Delphine. Essentially, this girl is a social media entrepreneur. She got big on an app called TikTok. That's where they dance to music. It's kind of like a sick, almost like a vine, but with music. That's the best way that I can describe it. Essentially, people lip sync to songs, they put songs in the background, or they do dances or choreography. She was essentially just being a professional thirst trap on this website. You know, she took her TikTok eventually to Instagram and Twitch, and Twitch is really where she started like blowing up, blowing up, right? She has this great Twitch following, you know, this great Instagram following, and she's just been professionally trolling the world to build her personal brand and monetizing it using um, very, how you say, risque, very risque type of ways. So I want to, you know, really, you know, the bathwater is one thing, you know, selling your own bathwater that you bathe in for, you know, $30 to anyone who wants to buy it is one thing. But I want to read you guys her Patreon um, goals or Patreon pledges in how she really goes about making money. Now, normally, uh, you know, on my podcast that I'm doing, I would go down and, you know, let you guys see this with me. However, because it is so graphic, I, I can't even show you any of these pictures. This is an 18 plus site and I don't want YouTube to ban me. I just started posting YouTube videos. So really, this would be a terrible way to go if I go down, a, you know, gamer girl thirst trap lens and get my thing banned for that. So instead of looking at it, you're going to have to look at my beautiful, lovely mug. Hopefully uh, that isn't too terrible for you guys. All right. So let me read the peers. If you're you know new with Patreon, Patreon basically has a tier system that allows you to go through and subscribe to different tiers. You know, you got your big bronze, your silver, your gold. Each of them, you know, goes up in value and you get different rewards. So I'm gonna read through her tiers just to let you guys know and give you a sense of how she's monetizing everything. All right, so her tier one is bronze. This means someone will pay their bronze level, which is a dollar every month, to get the rewards. Bronze essentially says you're helping support my content and helping me take photos. A little slice of the cake and some yummy sweets goes a long way. So here's a little thank you. 
So you get a dollar, you know, you spend a dollar per month and you know, you're basically a supporter. Now, $5 per month is their silver package. This gets you. She says, eek, thank you so much. This, you get access to my Patreon feed and updates, cute and sometimes weird selfies behind the scenes of my photo shoots. And she's dressed, you know, the promo pictures, she's dressed very, I guess, scantily, you know, you get to see a bit more. It's basically suggesting your gold package for $25 says access to my lewd hd photo sets access to all my ahigo photos access to my patreon feed updates behind the scenes of my photo shoots and the more you go through then you start to get really suggestive next is her premium snapchat with a very very suggestive photo see as you see through um each photo you go through has larger and larger um you know Basically, you get larger and larger thirst traps sent to you for free, larger access to her more thirst traps. She's really knows how to monetize her audience, you know, basically in economics, they call this perfect price discrimination, whatever you have in your bank account, she gives you an option to maximize your spend. So her next, um, you know, tiers of $50 per month. This one says, this is my naughty social media. My Snapchat includes bath and shower time selfies, panty shots, cosplay photos, very not for safe work pictures, and random naughty videos. After subscribing to this tier, message me your Snapchat name on my Patreon. This tier includes all tiers beneath it. Love, Belle. So again, she starts going into different tiers where this is where you will start seeing how she goes from just simple monetization into straight trolling. And this is why she's literally a personal brand genius. This girl is like the Bill Gates. She is like the Warren Buffett of our time. She might be the next Steve Jobs. Don't do not discount this girl because realistically, she is looking at the algorithms, looking at the systems online and let's seeing how can she maximize her net worth. Like right now, this girl's estimated net worth is just looking on Google. Uh, Google has no idea. Uh, they say it's around half a million dollars, but don't be surprised. Her reach is so massive and her free marketing, um, you know, from all these crazy trolling videos is so ridiculous that right now she's 19. Well, this clearly she has an eye for business. Clearly she knows what she's doing. She knows the marketplace in day in and day out. Like they could really use a girl like this at Apple. You know, has Apple ever thought of selling you naked gamer girl bathwater? I didn't think so. Jeff Bezos really needs this girl on the front line. She knows how to create a profit. This girl is literally the modern day Jesus. Let's go to the next tier. Uh, this is her king package for a thousand dollars or more. She says, you are my king and you're helping me unbelievable. I honestly love you so much. I will do a custom photo set for you. We can discuss it together. Access to my private Snapchat. I will mail you very Lord Polaroid. Oh, sorry. Very lewd Polaroid and sign it with a kiss once per month. Wow, thank God once per month. You know, that's that's really, you know, good access. Uh, basically access to all the same stuff before. And her basically last tier is called her God tier, which is $2,500 per month. This is where the trolling just takes a new high. $2,500 a month is like, realistically, she doesn't expect anyone to really buy this, but people do. And it has spurred so many online YouTube videos just from creating these crazy packages that this is why she's so infamous on the internet right now she says you are my god i couldn't possibly ever thank you enough i couldn't possibly think of a good reward for the very best patreon i will ever have if you achieve this tier please private message me i'm sure what reward i could give you but we'll talk about it i love you so this tier she literally hasn't even thought of anything to give you for this tier yet but she just put it up there just to see hey you know what maybe someone out there will actually buy it maybe someone out there uh, understands that you know there's cool it's cool being a king you know it's cool being gold but like you know be a god you know why not stop at king just be a god she clearly is a marketing genius uh this girl has time and time and again just out there and really just scratched her head and say you know what would get me the most free attention online and has really built a you know online massive audience from this right so one thing that i want to really talk to you and touch to you on is the crazy landscape that is going on with these socialpreneurs everywhere 
because as you're seeing right now we are in the new gold rush we are in the new real estate business we are in the new stocks just imagine where you would be if you bought google 20 years ago right before the dot com bus or right after the dot com bus what would happen if you know you bought amazon like 10 or 15 years ago or bitcoin 10 years ago you would be literally rolling in dough rolling in billions clearly in the 21st century one of the biggest things that we have going for us is this new world where when you build a personal brand online you can literally monetize it and do ridiculous things and i think right now a lot of people aren't necessarily realizing what's going on it's all you know jokes this girl's you know posting all these ridiculous things and you know getting this attention but realistically she's monetizing this very effectively like it's to the point where her personal brand is so ridiculously strong you know through twitch through instagram through her TikTok, through all these things her personal brand is so ridiculously strong she can literally sell bath water to her audience like you need to really think about that like there are influencers right now or there are people right now or companies right now who are struggling to sell cereal to eight-year-olds this girl is selling $30 bath water to the masses like this is crazy ever president stuff um this girl's just a master of trolling another troll that she did very famous is if we can pull up her instagram actually i can't pull up her instagram it's too not safe for work basically but essentially on her instagram she went through and she put up a picture and said hey if this instagram gets a million likes i will do a porn photo shoot and open up a porn hub account of course the photo gets like two million or three million likes people are so excited to see her on Pornhub and when she opened up a Pornhub account she put up seven fake videos with very very aggressive titles basically you think she's gonna do a porn you click on the video you know I clicked on it for research purposes but you click on the video and of course it's not her actually doing the porn it's her doing a meme parody of whatever the porn title is. So one of the titles would be, I I don't even wanna say it. I'm not trying to get strikes. This is one of my first videos. I'm sorry, man. I wanna stay safe for work, man. Please forgive me. But she would basically make a video says that I'm eating, I don't know, pie, and it'd be a video of her actually eating pie. I'm advertiser friendly. <laughs> And this is a great way where a bunch of people picked up on this crazy troll because he literally gained like a million followers from doing this crazy troll and has a bunch of YouTube people talking about it. So nowadays, she's using all this new free promotion, free press that she's getting and receiving, and she's using it to monetize in a way that brings her income every single month. And it's, it looks like to me like she's thinking about the next troll and the next troll and the next troll that she can do to really build her online media performance and then monetize it. So just think about like, you know, the conventional ways of monetizing or the conventional ways of building wealth. You know, you go into real estate, you buy a house and you try to flip it or you try to get rental income or you buy a stock and you know, every year you can get like eight to eight percent on S&P index ETF, let it grow and grow. But realistically, if you want to really gain that momentum, you gotta start a business and you gotta follow a trend and find it and really invest in it and then reap the rewards. Of course, the trend that Belle Delphine is hopping on is personal brand, just online social media presence, your clout, you know, all of those things. This is something that's monetizable that us flight crew, we gotta go out there and we gotta, you know, invest in. Now, once again, I'm not saying you got to sell your armpit sweat or you got to sell your, uh, you know, your lip juice online to some thirsty person. But of course, if you find, you know, if you build an audience and you really connect with that audience, of course, you're able to sell it for a bunch. Now, I found a great article. Uh, let's see if I can read this. Reddit. Why did people buy Belle Delphine's? I can't even spell her name, Delphine's Bath Water. See, I'm just gonna Google this. I found this great article the other day. Um, really ask Reddit, this is a great form. Uh, shout outs to my boy, Verdidity, for putting it up there. Um, but some guy really broke it down on why people are actually went out and why they sold out there. So 
Yeah, I'm going to read a couple of reasons why people are actually buying this $30 bath water. Uh, the first one is when you're approaching your mid to late 20s and still haven't enjoyed a healthy and intimate relationship, it really does start to mess with you on a scary level. Uh, to that, I say it's incredible because there's this growing incel movement, which is uh, I think incel stands for uh, your involuntarily celibate. Um, oh, yeah. Let me show my let me show my screen, actually, so you guys can read this with me. But incel stands for your involuntarily celibate. Essentially, what that means is, um, let me exit that. When you're involuntarily celibate, that means that basically you cannot find a woman to mate with, of course. And because of that, you are celibate. No one loves you. Everyone hates you. You can't get girls. It's a terrible thing. This is a growing movement online, which is why people are like red pilling out or something like that. And she's basically tapping in this market of guys who, I guess you know have trouble in relationships and the platform like twitch the cool thing about a platform like twitch is it really allows you to connect with your audience like just imagine this back in the day when brad pitt was in his prime you could reach out there and say hey brad how's your day going and he would answer back and be like hey fly stewie my day is going pretty swell it would create a different sort of you know different sort of relationship with your audience so this is what she's tapping into because of that, people really feel connected with her. It makes selling her um, stuff through a personal brand even more effective. That's why right now between Twitch, Instagram, and YouTube, Twitch's you know monetization is just through the roof because you really connect with your audience. Um, back to the Reddit. Another reason someone you know buys bathwater for thirty dollars is, as this Redditor says. When you're 25 and haven't had a meaningful relationship with women, either romantic or otherwise, you start to get weird ideas about women are, especially if you talk to their own groups. When every woman you've ever known either hates video games or is casual novice gamers at best, meaning a woman who seems to idolize gaming as much as you do triggers volatile emotions. I didn't mention this about Belle Delphine, but she is a legit gamer. Like she is in with the stuff. She knows exactly. Uh, she literally collects stuff. Like if you see in her room, it is a depiction. Again, not safe for work content, so I can't really pull it up. But she really does play video games and really knows the lore of these games and really is a gamer that's invested in this. And in this day and age that's kind of rare one of the big things that i've noticed as being a twitch streamer is that there's not that many girl streamers on the platform like that's still the video game space is still being a heavily dominated male field so when there is a girl gamer who legit actually you can tell is really invested in this game their channels blow up relatively faster than the guys you know this is a classic economic story of supply and demand she was one of those gamer girls that really understands this really is one of those girls who really takes gaming to the next level and of course her audience relates to that so just imagine if your favorite adult actress was into the exact type of stuff you were you would connect with her on another level uh back to this reddit so she says the whole selling bathwater thing to thirsty fans may seem like memes and trolling but in reality it's just highlighting a very very sad reality so Basically, this guy explains that this is just another futile attempt to feel closer to one girl that has paid them attention. Remember, this girl is really answering their questions in the DM. She's really answering and talking with them. She's really creating that connection. So, of course, you know, this is just another way to feel closer to your favorite Twitch streamer, your favorite celebrity, basically. And it's, I know, I mean, it's, it's sad in one aspect of it because, you know, it makes you sound desperate. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people bought this as a troll. Um, a lot of other people though did buy it because they have a connection with her and you know Owning a bit piece of her bathwater makes them feel closer to her, which is of course kind of creepy, but that's the world we live in so uh, I guess the moral of the story is make sure you hit that like button comment below Let me know if you would buy my bathwater Because I I be taking baths sometimes I can bathe for you if you want you can buy mine um yeah let me know if you buy her bathwater or this is just the internet taking too far let me know if you think more people are trolling buying bathwater or if you think people are actually serious and like this stuff okay it's your boy fly stewie this is the fly stewie's uneducated investor podcast and as always the best most brightest investors are the uneducated ones why is that that's because the uneducated investor they never ever 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 stop <laughs>
Bye.